friends uh, let me continue with my previous class in the previous class if you remember i have uh, explained you about the laboratory diagnosis of rabies spiders in humans in this uh, lecture we will deal with laboratory diagnosis of rabies virus in animals so first the brain of the rabies virus or rabid animal the brain of rabid animal uh this is removed right it is removed and then it is preserved in 50% glycerol saline and uh zenkers fluid here this is removed and preserved in glycerol uh saline one part and the other part in zenkers fluid here preservation in glycerol saline helps in isolation of virus and pre uh, preservation in zenkers fluid helps in demonstration of negative bodies so what does this zenkar fluid consists of zenkar fluid it contains potassium dichromate mercury chloride and distilled water so this portion of brain uh, the all uh, this portion of brain should include hippocampus and cerebellum because lots of negris bodies are present in hippocampus and cerebellum because in these many many negris bodies are seen right so right now let us discuss the tests which are commonly done for uh, demonstration of rabies virus the first test is immunofluorescence test this is a rapid test and it is done on brain tissue to demonstrate viral antigens as i have already discussed this immunofluorescence test uh it is done mostly for salivary gland because the rabies spiders will shed through the saliva right and brain tissue so as i have already discussed about the immunofluorescence test in my previous lecture i would not i don't want to repeat it again and the second test which is used is through demonstration of negri bodies this negri bodies demonstration is always used even now in laboratories it is mainly by staining with cellar technique as i have already discussed in my previous class and the third method of the of um, demonstration is by isolation of virus this is by injecting the brain tissue into the young mice so into the <coughs> young mice we <coughs> inoculate or inject brain tissue suspension by intracerebral route and then we uh, see the 
outcome of young mice the young mice dies in 3 weeks and there will be presence of negris bodies in brain right if several white mice are injected in this way uh, the viral antigen may be detected in brain tissue this is uh, there are two ways one we can use immunoprotein fluorescent test or if negris bodies can be demonstrated all these are the methods which are useful for the demonstration of virus in the animals though these methods are similar to those which are used in demonstration in humans but uh, the only difference is here that we do most of these with uh, tissues after the death of the animal so other methods so the the, the final part of diagnosis is the final methods the other methods which can be used for the diagnosis of rabies virus first one is serum virus neutralization test this is very specific and it may be useful for the identification of virus or isolation of virus or for the from the for detection of auto antibodies in the serum the second one which is used is complement fixation test this complement fixation test is also used for the detection of rabies antigens and antibodies and the other one is counter immuno electrophoresis test this is test used for the assessment of antibodies in the serum and the fourth one is elisa for assessment of antibodies fifth one immuno peroxidase test even this is for at a uh, mean detection of antigen and sixth is hemagglutinin inhibition test all these tests were will were, were discussed or will be discussed uh, in immunity chapter so don't worry about them and the final test is passive hemagglutinin assay these are the methods which are used for the diagnosis of rabies virus so today we have learned about the diagnosis of rabies virus in humans in our previous lecture which includes specimens immunofluorescent assay and demonstration of negris bodies and isolation of virus so let me take a, let me take a close look of the picture which i have drawn for negris bodies maybe this is not clear so let me draw it again so this is an agris body which is a slight purple pink in color oh you can't see it fine and in this you find basophilic granules and this is intracytoplasmic so it is present inside the cell right then isolation of virus and diagnosis in animals immunofluorescent demonstration of negris bodies and other methods so in our next class we would learn about the vaccination which is available for the rabies vaccine okay then bye